today we will discuss about uh, the programming of the linked list in the uh, programming of the linked list uh, i am considering that uh, we are going to implement the linear linked list in the linear linked list i am considering that uh, every node of this linked list contains two fields one of which is the information and the other one is containing the address of the next node the information here is considered to be of integer type and accordingly we are going to make a program at the very first we should design the structure of the node so since i have already told you that the data item here is going to be of integer type so let's consider that the data part is known as uh, data part in this no, uh, linked list nodes are uh, the info and the next part is containing the address of the next node suppose uh, i have uh, an integer value integer uh, variable declared as x and let's say its initial value is 10 if i have to keep the address of this x then i will be defining a pointer let's say that is ptr and i say that the type of this ptr is integer type of ptr is integer because this ptr is going to keep the address of an integer value so since a pointer is declared as integer because it is going to keep the address of an integer value if i declare that x is a character then the pointer which will keep the address of this character variable will also be of character type so here in this linear linked list the next field is going to keep the address of the next node it means the next field is going to contain the address of a node type hence the type of the next field should be of node type so the next pointer is of type struct node fine after this let's say we have to design a node uh, a function get node which will actually allocate the address for a node sorry it will actually allocate the memory for the node so uh, there is a function known as malloc and if i write malloc 4 it will allocate 4 bytes of memory at the run time since we want the memory to be allocated for a node then i should write it as size of struct node let us uh, understand this malloc in a bit more detail let's say i allocate 10 bytes of memory to the malloc function so once i have allocated this 10 bytes at these 10 bytes you can store 10 character elements or at the same allocated memory you can store five integer values or at the allocated at the same allocated space you can store say two integer values two float two float values so this also makes out to 10 bytes similarly you can think of storing four character values one integer value and let's say one float value so you can you can store any type of the value at the allocated memory but here i want that in the allocated memory i have to store only a node so i will have to type cast the allocated memory as struct node star malloc function will be returning an address of the allocated memory it will be returning the starting address of the allocated memory but what should actually go at the place of allocated memory this we can control by type casting it to struct node star it means there will be a node pointer which will be keeping the address of the allocated memory so let's say p is that pointer Let's declare the type of P. 
type of key is Chakrot star. Now, having allocated the memory through the malloc function, I should return the address of the allocated memory to the function which, which has called the getNode function. Let us now design the insert beginning function. Here I am considering that my link list is globally available. So let us declare a link list having first node address as start. So the address of the first node in this link list is start. And through the insert beginning function, I am going to insert a node at the beginning of the link list. So very first thing that should I should do is to allocate the space for this node. So there is a standard function that I have already designed, the get node, through which I can allocate the memory. So let's say I am taking a temporary node PEMP and allocating the memory space for this node by calling the get node function. Whatever address get get node function returns the address starting address of the allocated memory, I am going to accept that in the temp. It means temp temp, temp is going to contain the address of the allocated memory. Now let us suppose through the insert beginning function an integer value x is passed which is to be stored in the new node. So I can say that temp.info equals to x. It means I'm going to store x data in this temporary node. Now my link list is going to change. So the temporary node is going to be the first node. And previously the first node, first node was the start. It means the start was keeping the address of the first node. Now, first node will be temporary node that I, am, that I have created. I will have to link these two nodes. Just to link these two nodes, I am keeping the address of the start node in the next field of temporary. Means that, let's say, I had an information like 4, then 5, then 6, then 7. And now I want to insert 3 in the beginning. So for that I will have to create a node. Let's say we have created a node. After creating a node, I will have to keep the information 3 here, which will be done through this function, sorry, uh, this line of code. Then after this, I will have to link 3 and 4. So linking of 3 and 4 can be done by assigning the next field of 3 as 4. It means the node containing the information 3 will have its next field as the address of 4. And what was 4 actually? 4 is a node having address to start. Hence, I have written here temporary dot next equals to start. Now the link list has got changed. New first node is temp. Uh, the address of the new first node is temp. So start equals to temp. Insert beginning is done. Now let us write the algorithm for traversal. In the traversal, I have to display all the nodes in the link list. So let us consider a temporary pointer T, which is going to keep the address of the first node. I am taking a temporary pointer to traverse this link list because if I make the changes in a start, finally the start will be null. I do not want that to happen. I want the start to keep the address of the first node. So, if this t is containing a valid address, it means t is not null, I will print the information of t node. It means I will display the information of t node 
by this statement. Now after printing the value of this node, I will move to the next node. This can be done by going to the next node. Now once I have gone to the next node, I will print the information of that node as well. And then I will move to the next node. It means that this process is a repeated process. Hence, in the place of if I should write while. It's a repeated process. Every repeated process should be kept in the loop. That's why in the place of if I have written while. So now this process traversal is complete. Now let us design the main. In the main, at the very first time declaring that, my link list initially contains no nodes. So if my link list contains no node, the start should be null. Then let us call the function insert beginning and make a node containing 100 values. Similarly, we can call another insert beginning, another one, and another one, and another one. Let's change the data value of every insert beginning function. Let's say it contains 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600. So what will my link list be? The first node will be here. Initially, it was, initially the link list was null. When I have inserted 100, the first node and only node is uh, the node containing 100 value. Then 200 comes ahead of 100. After the next insert beginning, 300 comes ahead of 200. Finally, 600 becomes the first node. Now, if I traverse this link list, I can call the function traverse. Now, just to beautify this, beautify the display process, I can write here slash t. So after every information is displayed, a tab will be there just to beautify the answers generated. Here in this link list, in the get node function, I'm using a malloc function. I'm calling a malloc function. Definition of the malloc function is available in the header file named as stdlib.h, standard library.h. The definition of the same malloc function is available in the malloc.h header file as well, and even alloc.h. So these are the three header files in which you can find out the address of the malloc function. Let us execute this program just to check if my program design is correct. So here you can see that my program is absolutely all right.